Good morning, teens. Welcome to the second decade of the 21st century. Are you guys having fun yet? My name is Vincent Vesa. I am an author and I am the founder of the enterprise Hidden Treasure Novels. And I'm here today to share a few lessons that I learned along the way that I hope will be helpful to you. Lesson one, I learned from my teacher, Mr. Leslie Rothman, English teacher, yearbook advisor, faculty advisor for the school newspaper. His lesson was this, find your North Star. Bottom of this page, you'll see a quote that he was fond to quote from time to time that helped us all to find that North Star to define who we are, what we believe. It was, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are a spiritual being having a human experience. How profound. Read a little bit more about that author and you'll find out the roots of that statement and the star that he's trying to share with you and with all of us. Not all lessons are learned in school. In fact, you're going to learn many, many lessons along the path of life. I learned another lesson at Apple Computer. I had the privilege of working at Apple for a number of years and um, our leader at the time, Steve Jobs, came up with a really a profound statement. He said, make a difference. You're going to come into the workplace. Don't just come here with your body. Don't just come here, you know, to make a paycheck. Come here with your ideas. Come with your experience. Come with your knowledge. Come with your passion. And come here to make a difference. And I'd like to believe that, you know, you make a difference not just in the workplace, but you make a difference in the world in which you live. In the workplace at Apple, back in those days, you know, we anticipated what might be the, the uh, forerunner of the iP Apple iPad. And we kind of sort of anticipated the, uh, the internet. Well, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a, a reference to something called the Knowledge Navigator. It was commissioned in 1987 by the leaders at Apple to kind of present a future vision, present what, what the world might look like in 2010, 2020, right here, right now, today. Take a look at it, do a Google, and um, go check out you know, the Knowledge Navigator, because you need to make a difference, and you will. Wherever you are, there's a reason for your being there, and you will make that difference. So it brings us to the third lesson. And that third lesson is overriding. It's basically under the umbrella that change happens. Change happens, by the way, is the motto of our, of our company, of our enterprise. And you can be a part of that change, uh, or you can sit by and watch the change happen to you. Yeah, it's your choice. I challenge you each to go out and be the one who challenges your generation, just as we had to challenge our generation. We live in challenging times, and this change is happening, happens all around us. You're aware of it, you're teenagers, you're you have a mind now, you know where you're going. You can open your eyes and see what's around you. So open your eyes, step up, make that change. So in closing, I'd like to, to leave you with a thought from Mary Oliver, one of my favorite poets. She said, tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Think about that at one time. I hope you'll consider these thoughts. I hope you'll reach out to, to our folks, to me, and to the writers that are a part of the Hidden Treasure Networks, uh, Hidden Treasure Novels Network. And um, you know, hit the connect button, go to www.hiddentreasurenovels.com, go to connect, leave us a message. We'd love to hear your story. Thank you so very much. Have a blessed day, you guys.